by Stephen Stone. He's chief executive of the property company, Cress Nicholson. Stephen, good to see you. Good evening. So, the Chancellor wants to look into the gap between planning permissions and, uh, and housing starts. He clearly thinks you're all hoarding, uh, hoarding land, doesn't he? Well, I think the secret is in the name, Cress Nicholson House Builder. That is, we buy land and we build and sell houses. That's our job, that's what keeps our shareholders happy and that's what pays the salaries of our staff. That's not to say that um, there may be some land speculators, but I think as far as house builders are concerned, all of the house builders, as soon as we get a planning consent, we crack on and build houses. So you don't think there is much evidence Oliver Letwin is going to find of house builders hoarding land? Well, over the last, what, 15 years, there's been three other inquiries and all of them have found that house builders get on and build houses. He's, pr he's threatening you with some pretty severe um, compulsory purchase orders, potentially, isn't he? Well, I think as far as I'm concerned, we welcome this, um, this review um, because I think it will show that house builders, we do get on and build housing. And what, what I hope it will do is... is come over the myth that there's a difference between a, a consented site with an outline planning consent and then one that enables us to start building. And what's often misunderstood is it can take a year to get move that process on. And if we look at productivity in house building, it takes about six months to build a house and 18 months to get a planning consent. If we can shorten that, better productivity all round. One of the things the Chancellor mentioned was he wants infrastructure to encourage higher density house building. Is that what people really want? Well, it's a mix, isn't it? I think in urban situations, you need to build higher, higher, more density. But out in rural areas, you have to you know, create a housing density that suits the local towns, villages. So it's a mix of both. In a word, Stephen, he's targeting 300,000 homes a year by the mid-20s. Is he going to get there? Well, it's, it's a tough, tough call. And I have to say, if he wants to do it, he's got to start working on this today. You All know, right. he can't, can't wait for another year. All right, Stephen, so I'm from Cress Nicholson. Appreciate you joining me. Thank you.